the moment we've all been waiting for. Why is this no good stuff? Just, just do it. My name is Maddie, this is Fig, and today we're doing a fun challenge video with a bit of a twist. <laughs> Not really a twist, more like a special guest. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. I started this channel almost a year ago to document my eating disorder recovery journey and help other people in recovery go through the process with them and hopefully feel less alone as I share my struggles, my progress, my excitement of discovering new foods that aren't going to hurt me and yeah, hopefully get rid of this stupid eating disorder. So yeah, update on Fig. Um, she has Horner syndrome, I've said this before, but it's gonna most likely look like she's been hit by a bus for the rest of her life because she will have a constant head tilt. But she's eating, she's drinking, she's hopping around, and she's doing okay. She's just a little sleepy right now, so I'm gonna put her back. Yeah, so like I said, today is going to be a challenge video. Long story short, I follow another YouTuber named Rebecca Jane. Shout out, Rebecca, you're freaking amazing. And if you don't follow her, you totally should because she also documents eating disorder recovery things, but she's doing absolutely amazing. Like, she's incredible. So I made a comment on one of her recent videos saying, I don't know, great job or something, and that I sort of hit a roadblock because I have. I find that I go back to the same foods a lot of the time, and although I'm hitting my calorie target or the minimum, I talked about this in my last video, but I have a, max, a minimum calorie target that I'm supposed to reach, and I'm hitting it, but I'm going back to the same foods over and over again. So she made a suggestion that she would give me a challenge. So I DM'd her on Instagram, and she sent me a video uh, about a challenge that I should do. So before I show the video, I want to say I thought this was going to be easy. I thought, you know, I'm I've been doing tons of challenges. I've made a lot of progress, what can she say that will stump me? I've done cheese, I've done chocolate, I've done burgers, I've done fries. But she hit me with a good one, and I was not expecting this. So, here's the video. Hey Maddie! Okay, this is my food challenge for you. I challenge you to have a milkshake with your next meal. Not in replacement of a meal, not as your snack. You're having it alongside your meal, okay? Chocolate milkshake's the way to go. Yeah, so a milkshake. And then after she sent it, she made a little comment saying, of course, with whipped cream. So thanks, Rebecca, for that. <laughs> yeah, so immediately when I read it, I was like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Just get Halo Top or just make a milkshake with like milk and cocoa powder, make a low-calorie version. And my head was thinking, okay, well, you know, you could also do it at a meal when, you know, you're just having a salad and it can fit your calories, but no. That's not the point. That is not the point. The point is to challenge yourself. She also said, with your next meal. So today is October 31st. She sent the video about an hour ago and I had lunch. So my next meal is going to be dinner. And you know, I was thinking, okay, we'll just change your dinner plans. Just have a salad so you can fit in this milkshake. Again, not the point. And coincidentally, my dinner tonight is quite a dense meal of rice, curry, and chicken. So we're adding a milkshake to that. Am I freaking out? Just a little bit. Yeah, I guess I want to do this because I want to prove to myself that it's not going to kill me. A milkshake is totally fine to have with your dinner, obviously. And chocolate is the way to go. As she said, I love chocolate. Probably would have chosen chocolate anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go get a milkshake. I actually, I can't believe she actually said this because milkshake is probably, Fig wants to get out. Milkshake is probably, a milkshake is probably like, it's very high up there for me with my favorite foods because it's it's like a liquid calorie but it's also a dessert but i can't have it as a snack or a dessert so i have to have it with my meal but then to have like i still struggle with like pop or like soda that's not diet so to have a milkshake with a high calorie dinner we're gonna do it so thank you rebecca i really appreciate it i think yeah so i'm gonna go to the store and get some i don't even know how to milky milkshake how do you make, it's just ice cream, right? But you have to add, how do you make a milkshake? I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna guess like half ice cream, half milk and milkshake recipe. The perfect milkshake, 69 reviews, takes five minutes to make. Four scoops of vanilla ice cream. Quarter cup of milk and whipped cream. So I need ice cream, milk, whipped cream. So I'm gonna get chocolate, chocolate, I can't even talk anymore. Chocolate. Ice cream, milk, 
and whipped cream. Let's go to the store. Love it. Life is so great. It's like not even November yet and it's freezing outside. Not actually, but basically for me, it feels very cold. So we're just going to the store, it's like a five minute walk, but I am wearing a thermal shirt, a sweater, a scarf, a hat, and a fall jacket. So maybe I'm like weather appropriate, I don't know. This is what we're working with. One stones, root socks. Let's go get some ice cream. The walk to the nearest grocery store is only about five minutes and I went with the intention of only getting two things I needed, ice cream and whipped cream. There were so many ice cream options and at least five different kinds of just plain chocolate. I did stall at the Halo Top, but passed by all the low-cal ice creams and went for what I thought would be the most classic chocolate. Normally, I would have spent forever picking up and looking at all the different calories from each individual brand, but just put the first one I chose in my cart and moved on. Then it was time to get the whipped cream. I know I could have made it myself, but having whipped cream from a can is way more fun anyways. They didn't have the cool whipped kind that I'd planned on getting, but did get a coconut one instead. Not because it was vegan or anything, but because I actually do really like coconut. Then I obviously paid for everything and walked home. <sighs> it's a lovely leaf here. <laughs> okay, um, it's about 7 p.m. now, and I went grocery shopping, I guess, two hours ago. And I'm having a bit of a vulnerable moment right now, so I thought I would record it because it has to do with eating disorders and my body. And that's what this account is all about. I just had a bath. I don't know why that matters, but I put on these pants. <laughs> Lovely pants that I, pajama pants that I wear, used to wear a lot. And I have not put them on in a moment. And they're tight. Well, not tight, but they're tighter than they were. And immediately, like, you know, all of the thoughts start spiraling. Like, I was on Instagram and you see photos of friends that are, I know it's not all about the body, but friends that are, I'm just gonna say it's skinny. And I try not to judge people on their appearance, but it just feels like you're scrolling through all of social media and everybody is just, <laughs> this is not, I don't want to be triggering, but everybody just seems so small. And then to sit down for my dinner tonight and know that I'm going to have rice and curry and chicken and a milkshake and then also my snack when your clothes aren't fitting, like that's hard. <laughs> like I'm not hungry. I want to have nothing for dinner. I want to have a salad. I want to have something small, but I'm, I need to hit my calories. And unless I start eating chunks of butter, Ugh, it just, it gets hard a lot of the time, obviously with eating disorders, but pep talk to me or you or whoever's watching this. If you're recovering from an eating disorder and you need to be gaining weight, listen to your professionals. Maddie, I'm talking to me. Everyone says that you have to reach that point and I'm getting there and I just need to keep going. No matter what the scale says, no matter what's on social media, everybody's different. Everyone's a different size. If my body is meant to be in a larger body, then that's just the way it's gonna be. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it just goes to show that you can be having a completely fine day and then something just sort of not triggers it. I don't want to say I'm triggered, but it's hard to be wearing tighter fitting clothes and seeing everybody on social media and you have to go and eat a milkshake and rice and probably cookies for dessert. <sighs> it's hard. This is also why I need these challenges. Challenges to keep me going. Like I still would be hitting my calorie goal, but it's it's more fun this way, I guess, or more, I don't know if it's more fun or more anxiety provoking. Anyway, I filmed the part of this video this morning that I painted my nails because I was feeling it. I don't know, I'm just stalling now. I just, I don't wanna eat dinner. Make food, make a milkshake. We got this, you got this, it's all good, it's all good. You can do it. You got this. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. So we're in the kitchen now. It's like two seconds later. I'm having this um, zucchini curry. It's from this place called Summer Hill Market. So I'm having that with leftover rice and then I'm gonna add some shredded chicken on top. So that's my carbs, protein, veg. It's a big dinner. But we're still gonna have this milkshake because Rebecca said so. And what Rebecca says, we gotta do. I don't know, it's just, it seems weird in my head to be eating a milkshake with dinner because it's like your dessert. Anyway, oh, I got celebration cookies. One, one second. So I'm having also um, three of these for my snack tonight. So even though I'm having a milkshake, I will also be having snack because Rebecca said that it's not in place of. 
It's as well as. Yeah, I don't know. If you have these wherever you're from in Canada, they have the gingerbread um, limited edition ones for the holidays and they're really good. I'm gonna start making dinner and then we're gonna make the milkshake. Oh my God. It's fine. I don't know. Milkshake, dinner, let's, let's do this. You can tell I'm nervous because I just like keep talking and keep making things up. But okay, I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the blender. Yeah, it's, uh, we're gonna do it this time. I'm just the queen at angles, aren't I? So I've got a container, I can't even think, and some ice, a big spoon. Let's give this ice cream a try. I'm just, I'm gonna try it first, you know, to make sure it's good. I'm, this is making me very nervous. I can't even remember. I've had ice cream, but like, I feel like you have to go out to get ice cream. Like I haven't had ice cream like from a container at my house. I'm nervous <laughs> to eat this ice cream. It's fine, just eat it, just eat it. Mmm. <laughs> Ice cream is like really underrated, but also very overrated, and that's good ice cream. Oh boy. Okay, so we're just gonna add some scoops. Oh my god. A bit too, do two big scoops, and then maybe that's a big, that's a big scoop. There, that's a pretty decently, that's a lot. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna add some milk. Yeah, I did just eat this and then dip it back in. Mm -hmm. Now put the lid on. Am I forgetting anything? No, whipped cream goes after. Here's our milkshake. It's a very thick milkshake. I think I put too much ice. I have this cup, so I hope it fits. The David's tea cup. Oh my God, it's... Okay. Maddie is not a good milkshake maker. Oh boy. Okay, clean up. Okay, this might sound stupid, but I can't tell if it's, that's, is it too much or too little? I don't know. That's like, that's decent, right? Is that, Rebecca, you tell me, does this count as a milkshake? Okay, next time I do this, I'm actually gonna go out and get a milkshake, cause I feel, oh my God, I'm nervous though. Mother trucker. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for. Why is this not great okay, stuff? Just, just do it. A little bit more. Oh. Oh my god. That's a lot. Oh my god. It's supposed to be a challenge, right? It's supposed to be a challenge. I do have the. Okay, so now that it's like a little bit melted, we're gonna give it a try. Also, if you couldn't tell, Maddie has partaken in um, hippie lettuce a little bit. So, but we got this, we got it. So let's give this milkshake, chocolate milkshake, a try. It's so thick, it's not even coming through the straw. Ooh, there's like pieces of chocolate in it, I hope, or plastic. <laughs> Someone needs a rest. I'm dying. Help me. Mmm. Mmm. The whipped cream is better than the milkshake. Mmm. 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 Okay. Take this upstairs and eat our dinner and milkshake. Okay. Here we are. I've got my galaxy light for ambiance. Fig is here with me. This is my huge ass mother trucker of a dinner. And our milkshake. I don't know why people like watching people eat. I like being on my phone when I eat, to be totally honest. I'm stalling to eat my dinner. One thing that I already know that I'm gonna do, and I've sort of started doing it, is not drinking the milkshake and like saving it to the end as like a dessert, but I'm gonna try and make an effort to like enjoy it as I would a drink, if that makes sense. So yeah, just gonna casually sip on my milkshake. 
It's so weird to be eating like a dessert during dinner. I haven't even had my dinner yet. This is so good. It also feels wrong in my head that it's like a liquid calorie. I don't know. It's good though. Oh my God. I feel like I've done a lot of challenges, but this one, this one's getting to me. Not really though. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna put on my show, set this up a little bit more and eat dinner. Okay, midway through dinner, last little bit. I'm stuck. Last one. Done. Milkshake. How do I feel? Um, uh, weird. Cause I still have like savory food now. Oh boy. I can't believe I just drink a milkshake with my dinner. I don't feel that bad to be honest. It kind of just feels like it feels like I just drank a milkshake. That was fun-ish. I'm not crying, so that's good. I don't know, I guess like sometimes I'm sad when my sweet things are over because then it's like the end of the day. But I'm not sad that the milkshake's over because I still have savory and sweet left. But at the same time, when you're in recovery or whenever in your life, if you want more sweet, you can do it. There's no such thing as restricting in a food. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I don't know what I was gonna say. There's no such thing as food restriction when you're trying to be nice to your body. Just enjoy what you want. Have your milkshakes, have your curry and your rice and your donuts and cookies and ice cream and pizza. It's okay, it's okay. You were only on this planet one time. Don't say no to a croissant. Never say no to a croissant. That is my message to you. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, a comment. If you have other food challenges, let me know. Rebecca, thanks for that. <laughs> it was fun. Um, no, thank you. It was good. I, that was a fun thing to actually have someone else give me a challenge and not me come up with it. So, yeah, maybe drop some comments down in the comments. Drop, I can't talk. Drop some challenges down in the comments and maybe I'll randomly pick a few. So, yeah, um, see you in the next video. Bye.